Well, all right, people. So I want to do a quick video here on the so-called pipe bomb promo from MJF uh, recently. This was a great promo, a great moment, a moment that brought me back into the world of wrestling for only about five minutes. And then I, then I totally checked out again. But a great moment. I mean, MJF is... I mean, he's really awesome because just his character, his promo ability is, is awesome. You know, too many people, you know, and maybe even including myself kind of get caught up or have gotten caught up in, in the wrestling and the wrestling moves and 450 splashes off the top rope to the floor through a table, uh, you know, that we, that we don't sit back and, and, you know, realize the greatness of a, of a great character and a great promo. And MJF is definitely that. And he's definitely a breath of fresh air because he maintains his character to a certain extent in interviews and outside of just television, which is a, which is great to see. It's funny. It's entertaining. It's something new. I mean, you see so many people exposing the business nowadays, not taking that shit seriously. And I know it's different than it was 30, 40 years ago, but it's still nice to see MJF maintain a sense of credibility to, to professional wrestling, maintain his character in interviews. I mean, it's funny. It's hilarious. I mean, even his parents, you know, fucking hate him in kayfabe, you know, in storyline. So it's like, it's great to see somebody like that. His mic skills are A plus too. I mean, just the way he cuts promos, puts his words together, the shit he says. I mean, it's it's great. I mean, you see so many shitty promos, shitty characters nowadays, but MJF is great. Uh, and yeah, this was a great moment because it also blurs the lines between what's real and what's fake. You know, we don't know if this was scripted. Was it halfway scripted? Was it all the way scripted? Was it was it a shoot promo? Who the fuck knows? And that's that's a great thing. That's why that's what made CM Punk's pipe bomb promo a great thing. So we see so many great things in wrestling, though, but a lot of them amount to nothing. So we may see a great moment here and there, or we may even see something that is a great that is uh, a great character or, or a good idea or something that just happens by chance. And and you see WWE waste it so many times, you know, whether that's something like Zack Ryder or something like Damian Mizdow. Uh, Rusev, you, you 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 could go down the list of so many things that WW that just fell into the lap of, of WWE, but they squandered it and they wasted good opportunities. Uh, I don't want to speak so much for AEW because I don't watch it, so I don't want to give a an, an opinion, good or bad, on AEW really because that wouldn't be fair. Uh, but just like this was a great moment that just happened to fall into the lap of AEW really. Uh, you know MJF. You know, just happened to fall into the lap of AEW and whatever, gave AEW credit or what. But but they have something that can be great. So hopefully out of this great moment that a great character is born, uh, the next Stone Cold Steve Austin or another Undertaker or Rock or Cena or Batista or Orton, another, hopefully a big star is created out of this moment. Uh, because like I said, you see so many great moments squandered. And you could even make an argument that CM Punk's pipe bomb promo was squandered in a bit. Because, yes, CM Punk did some really great things after the pipe bomb promo. You know, he uh, was a very entertaining babyface for a while there. Uh, you know, the summer of Punk in 2011. Uh, his heel run after he turned heel in 2012. His t title run there. 434 days was entertaining, but he did become a stale baby face, you know, uh, for part of that run from 2011 to 2014. And then he just left the company. He walked out. So you could make the argument that, yeah, there were some great moments after Punk's pipe bomb promo and he definitely became a, a star out of that, but it could have been a lot better. And then he wasn't even wrestling from 2014 until 2021 and now he's older he's out of his prime he's probably i haven't been watching him but i know a lot of people are saying he's not wrestling as great as he once was so you could argue that we didn't get the full potential out of that great moment that just happened to fall into wwe's lap like that like that i think punk as great as he was could have been even greater even better I, and i would not put punk on the level of a stone cold steve austin or a rock i would put him a tier or two below that uh, because, but he just never amounted to what 
uh, I think he could have been. And, and that you could argue that's, you know, his fault, but it's probably mostly WWE's fault that they aren't able to build new stars and, and you know, put on good storylines and good segments and good promos and good stories between wrestlers. So there's my thoughts on this promo from MJF. A great moment, very entertaining, but hopefully it amounts to something. Hopefully that we just don't get one great moment out of this, that we get many great moments. And I know MJF has been doing some great things, but hopefully he does even greater things because you know, we shouldn't just settle for great things. We need we need new stars to be born in this company. We need or in this industry. We need to stop focusing so much on the has-beens of the Attitude Era and focus more on people like MJF. Focus more on building new stars, new talent, the next Stone Cold Steve Austins, the next Rocks, the next Undertaker. So hopefully out of this great fucking promo comes a years and years of the next Stone Cold Steve Austin or something similar. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on that.